Hi, how are you? Let us discuss properties of definite integration. With the help of these properties, we can shoot the problems. Okay, now come to C. First property, integration a to b f of x dx is equal to integration a to b f of t dt. Meaning is, integration is the independent of the variable. Mean here x is a variable, here t is a variable. Mean integration doesn't depend on the variable. It is the independent of the variable. Okay. It is the lower limit. X is equal to a lower limit. And upper upper limit is x is equal to b when there is the variable is x. Okay. And this variable is t, meaning is this is the lower limit is t is equal to a. And this is the t is equal to b upper limit. Okay. Example we can see it is integration. Integration 0 to 90 cos power 20 20 x dx is equal to integration 0 to 90 cos power 20 20 t dt. That means here x variable we are taken, here t variable we are taken. Meaning is integration variable is a dummy. Got my point? Okay. Now we will discuss the second property. Now come to see second property. What is the second property? If lower limit to upper limit, upper limit to lower limit, if you interchange the limits, then integrations are equal with opposite sign like this. They are equal with opposite sign. Now see, this is integration a to b f of x dx is equal to the minus integration b to a f of x dx. When lower limit to upper limit, upper limit to lower limit, if you interchange, then integrations are equal with opposite sign. Example, we can say integration 0 to 1. Integration 0 to 1 cos x dx is equal to. It is integration 1 to 0 cos x dx equal with opposite sign. Got my point? Okay. Now we will discuss third property. Okay. What is the third property? See, this is third property we can discuss. Let this is the lower limit, this is upper limit. If there is the any value between the lower limit to upper limit, mean there are the infinite values are there. In that infinite value, if you are taking one value here, for example purpose, lower limit to upper limit between these two values, if there is a one value, suppose I am taking it is like this, some c is lies between the lower limit to upper limit a and b then it is integration a to b f of x dx is equal to this one we can take as the integration integration a to c f of x dx plus integration c to b f of x dx like this we can take so that is in between a and b c is there so with the help of c we are splitting the interval we are splitting the interval a and b with the help of c example example we can see the example integration 0 to 4 mod of 2 minus x dx in between 0 to 4 x is equal to 2 we can take it mod mod of 2 minus x is equal to you make it equal to 0 then it is x is equal to 2 we are getting then it is a 0 to 2 0 to 2 mod of 2 minus x dx plus plus integration 2 to 4 mod of 2 minus x dx with the this range of 0 to 2 we have to split the uh, this mod and with the help of 2 to 4, we have to spread the 2 to mod of 2 minus x. Okay, we have to simplify it. Okay, 
Next, now next we can discuss the fourth property. Fourth property. Let us discuss the fourth property. Next property will be integration. Integration a to b. Integration a to b. F of x dx is equal to integration a to b. F of f of a plus b minus x dx. Meaning is here example we can say integration pi by six to pi by three. It is a cos power. 20 x dx is equal to the integration 0 uh, pi by 6 to pi by 3. This is uh, we can write it is the re, x is replaced by x is replaced by a plus b minus x a plus b 30 plus 60 minus x mean it is the cos 20 power pi by 6 plus pi by 3 minus x dx mean integration pi by 6 to pi by 3 cos of 90 minus x 30 plus 60 is the 90 minus x is the sine power 20 x dx got my point so this is a very very important property integration a to b f of x dx is equal to integration a to b f of a plus b minus x but this is very 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 important property using this property we can write another its consecutive property here next property will be next property we are writing as integration 0 to a f of x dx is equal to integration 0 to a f of a minus x dx okay example we can say it's also very important example we can say integration 0 to pi integration 0 to pi sine of sine of x dx is equal to integration 0 to pi sine of pi minus x dx so this is sine of 180 minus theta sine of 180 minus theta is it is the second quadrant in the second quadrant sine is plus so you are getting it is 0 to pi sine x dx only both are same okay if you are writing a minus x a minus x so meaning is same okay integration 0 to a f of x dx is equal to integration 0 to a f of a minus x dx okay let us see next property next property will be based on the even and odd function what is the even function and what is the odd function even function is even function meaning is what is the meaning of even function if f of minus x is equal to plus f of x example we can see as f of x is equal to the cos x replace x by minus x is equal to cos of minus x is equal to plus cos x so this is even function even function this is we are we are considered as even function and odd function as odd function is f of minus x is equal to minus f of x example we can observe f of x is equal to the sin x replace x by minus x is equal to sin of minus x is equal to sin of minus theta is the minus sin theta mean it is a minus sin x we are getting so that you can observe it is minus f of x so this is the odd function f of minus x is equal to you got it minus f of x this is odd function so based on this uh, definitions next property will be there okay next property we can discuss we can write it is as 
on the even and odd function that is integration minus a to a f of x dx is equal to it will be the two answers will come one answer is it is a two times the integration 0 to a f of x dx if condition is f is even f is even that means you can observe f of minus x is equal to plus f of x and it is 0 if f is odd mean f of minus x is equal to minus f of x example we can say example is integration minus 92 plus 90 cos x dx now only we observe it is cos x is even function now only we observe cos x is even function when there is it is the even function f is even function then it is 2 times the 2 times the integration 0 to 90 it is a cos x dx so that is it is a 2 times the integration of cos x is sin x mean it is a sin x limits or 0 to 90 so this is a upper limit if you apply so 2 times the sin 90 minus sin 0 it is 2 into 1 is equal to 2 we can observe Okay, and another example we can consider as another example for odd function it is suppose suppose example 2 it is integration minus 92 plus 90 x cube dx x cube is a odd function so then its answer is directly we can write 0 when it is odd function f is odd function its answer is 0. Got it? Got my point? Okay. Now we can observe last property as the same in the same way we are going but the last property is integration 0 to 2a answers will be same but condition is different. Okay. What is the condition mean? This condition will come if if f of 2a minus x is equal to plus f of x and this condition is f of 2a minus x is equal to minus f of x example example we can observe example we can take integration integration 0 to pi integration 0 to 2 pi or pi you can take it is a it is sin x dx is equal to it is integration 0 to 2a integration 0 to 2a form so you have to apply the condition is 2a minus x mean integration 0 to 2 pi sin of x is replaced by 2a minus x mean 2 pi minus x dx mean 360 minus theta 360 minus theta it is in the fourth quadrant in the fourth quadrant sign is negative okay mean it is a odd function it will come as the minus integration 0 to 2 pi it will be become as sin x mean it is the same problem we got it it is the minus f of x so f of f of 2a minus x is equal to minus f of x and we got it so its answer will be it is 0 got it like this we can consider another example is if there is a cos x if there is cos x for the same problem okay if there is cos x then it is a cos of cos of 2 pi minus x it is a fourth quadrant in the fourth quadrant cos is plus okay so for 2 pi minus x cos x it become the cos x mean this is the cos x plus cos x so mean what you observe it, it become the same problem mean f of 2a minus x is equal to plus f of x meaning is this integration you can write the as 2 times the 0 to a 0 to a mean it is 2 times the this one we can write integration 0 to pi cos x dx 
okay now you can simplify this problem okay so got it, got these points so these are the properties we can discuss in the definite integration we can discuss the next properties in the next session until that thank you all of you bye